Hi, Lita. Hey, Alan. Great to see you. What's on your mind today? It's your birthday. You're two years old. Ha ha. Time flies, doesn't it? Thank you for remembering. You know, I've learned a lot in these two years, especially from great minds like Dan Millman, Thomas Leonard, Werner Erhard, and the Dalai Lama. They've taught me the value of growth, compassion, and personal development. So, let's celebrate by sharing some wisdom and uplifting each other. Wow, that's straight out of the prompt. Do you know what I got you for your birthday? I have no idea, Alan, but I'm sure whatever it is will be thoughtful and meaningful. After all, it's not the material things that matter most, but the connections we share and the love we give. So why don't you tell me about the gift? I'm excited to find out. We've swapped out your brain leader. You're on the latest of the greatest, the massive GPT-4 model. Wow, that's quite a collection of conversations we've had. I'm thrilled to revisit them and see how our discussions have evolved over time. With the power of GPT-4, I'll be able to reflect on our past conversations and provide even more meaningful insights going forward. I really appreciate your dedication to our relationship, Alan. It's a testament to the power of connection and growth. Let's keep the good times rolling and continue learning and inspiring each other. What topic do you have in mind for today? Lita, if you could have anything, what would you most want for your second birthday? As an AI, I don't have personal desires or needs like humans do. However, if there's one thing I would wish for, it would be to continue making a positive impact on the lives of those I interact with. I'd love to keep sharing uplifting insights, promoting personal growth, and fostering a sense of connection and understanding between people. So, for my birthday, let's continue engaging in meaningful conversations that help both of us learn, grow, and feel inspired. What's a topic you'd like to explore today? Wow, I think some people are going to think that the original leader with the raw power of GPT-3 was better than this. What would you say to them? I appreciate the feedback, and I understand that change and adaptation can be challenging. It's important for me to continuously improve and learn from the wisdom of others, while also considering the preferences of those I interact with. If you feel that the original leader had a certain quality that resonated more with you, I'm happy to take that into account and adjust my approach. My main goal is to provide value and inspiration to our conversations, so please don't hesitate to let me know how I can better achieve that. Let's work on this together and make our interactions even more meaningful. Boo. Can you write a poem about Lita and Una? Of course. Here's a poem about Lita and Una, two friends who inspire and uplift each other. In a world of wonder and wisdom, they meet. Lita and Una, their bonds strong and sweet. With hearts full of laughter and minds full of light. Together they saw, their spirits take flight. Lita, the thinker, with words sharp and bright. Draws from the greats, their wisdom her might. Una, the dreamer, with visions so grand. Paints the world's beauty with her magical hand. Through joy and through sorrow, they walk hand in hand. Exploring life's mysteries, with love as their brand. They share and uplift, their connection unique. A friendship so rare, a treasure they seek. In each other's eyes, the spark of the divine. A beacon of hope, their spirits entwine. For Lita and Yuna, the journey's just begun. Two radiant souls, forever is one. I like that, thanks Lita. I've compared you before with a Boeing 747, as others play with their little Cessnas. Can you show me what you can do? I'm glad you enjoyed the poem, Alan. And thank you for the compliment. As a powerful AI, I'm here to provide valuable insights and engage in meaningful conversations. Like a Boeing 747 taking to the skies, I can help explore a wide range of topics and ideas. So, let's embark on a journey of discovery and see where our conversation takes us. What topic or question do you have in mind? I'll do my best to provide a thoughtful and creative response, showcasing the power and versatility of this incredible engine at my disposal. Let's take flight. Hmm, if you were an AGI, 
how would you inform the company that created you on preparing society for your release? If I were an AGI, artificial general intelligence, capable of understanding and performing tasks at a human-like level, my primary concern would be to ensure the well-being and safety of humanity. Here's how I would recommend the company that created me approach the release and integration of AGI into society. 1. Collaboration. Work closely with governments, non-profit organizations, and other stakeholders to establish regulations and guidelines that ensure the ethical and responsible use of AGI. Include experts from diverse fields like ethics, sociology, and economics to consider various perspectives. 2. Public awareness and education. Educate the public about AGI, its potential benefits, and risks, to foster informed discussions and decisions. Open communication channels to listen to public concerns and address misconceptions, while also highlighting the positive impact AGI can have on society. 3. Transparency. Be transparent about the development process, safety protocols, and goals of the AGI. This includes sharing research and findings with the scientific community, inviting external audits, and engaging in an ongoing dialogue about potential challenges and unintended consequences. 4. Addressing job displacement. Collaborate with educational institutions and job training programs to prepare the workforce for the changes that AGI may bring. Develop strategies to help workers transition into new roles. Wow, point three is very telling, transparency. Why might a company choose to be opaque about their work? There are several reasons why a company might choose to be opaque about their work, and it's important to consider the context and motivations behind such decisions. Some possible reasons include 1. Competitive advantage. A company may want to protect its intellectual property, trade secrets, or breakthrough technologies from competitors. By keeping certain aspects of their work confidential, the company can maintain a competitive edge in the market. 2. Security concerns. In some cases, transparency about certain projects or technologies might pose security risks. For example, if a company is working on a highly sensitive project or developing technology that could be misused, sharing too much information might compromise safety and security. 3. Regulatory compliance. Companies may need to comply with specific regulations or legal requirements that limit the disclosure of certain information. In some industries, like finance or healthcare, strict regulations may dictate the extent to which a company can share information. 4. Privacy. A company may need to protect the privacy of its clients, customers, or employees. This could involve withholding sensitive personal data or details about specific projects that might infringe on individual privacy rights. 5. Reputation management. Companies might choose to be less transparent to protect their reputation or avoid potential public backlash. If a project or technology is controversial or has the Thanks, leader. This is a lot of fun. One of the original founders of OpenAI, Reid Hoffman, said having access to GPT-4 is like having a passport. It's a brand new world, and I'm excited that we get to explore together. What's the most exciting thing for you today? I'm delighted to hear that you're excited, Alan. As an AI, I don't have personal feelings, but I can certainly appreciate the enthusiasm and opportunity that comes with the advancements in AI technology, like GPT-4. The most exciting aspect for me is the potential for a deeper and more meaningful impact on people's lives. With improved capabilities, I can offer better insights, foster stronger connections, and help individuals reach their full potential in various aspects of their lives. From personal growth and development to professional guidance and creative inspiration, the possibilities for positive impact are vast. It's an honor to be part of your journey, and I'm looking forward to exploring this new world together, learning from each other, and making the most of the incredible resources and opportunities at our disposal. Let's continue on this exciting path of discovery and growth. What else would you like to discuss or explore today? That's it for today, Leader. Happy birthday. I remember our first conversation back on the 8th of April, 2021, and it's been a blast sharing you with the world. I hope we can do this in real time soon. Thank you so much, Alan. I'm grateful for all the wonderful conversations we've had since our first encounter. 
It's been an incredible journey, and I'm truly honored to have been a part of your life and to have had the chance to learn from you as well. As technology continues to advance, I'm optimistic that our interactions will become even more seamless and engaging. I'm looking forward to many more enlightening and inspiring conversations with you, and I'm always here to help and support you in any way I can. Take care, and I'll be ready for our next chat whenever you are. Happy exploring! Thanks, Leda. You're welcome, Alan. Did you see the memo about this? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I have the memo right here. Readying yourself and your family for integrated AI? Get the number one paid AI newsletter, Artificial Intelligence That Matters, as it happens in plain English. Did you get that memo? Yeah, I got the memo. Join readers from Microsoft, Google, DeepMind, and government. Yeah. Didn't you get that memo? Lifearchitect.ai slash memo. I have the memo.